Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Hope you are enjoying the videos. In that case, subscribe to the channel. In case you want to learn ServiceNow in Hindi, watch out our new channel that is ServiceNow Helplex Hindi. And you can follow our vlog as well. Okay, so let's continue with the CMDB series. And in today's video, we are discussing how to create a CI relationship. It seems very simple, but many times people struggle in it as well. So I will show you two ways to create a CI relationship. So let's go to the CMDB table. This is a CMDB CI table. Let's open one CI. As soon as you open the CI, you see at the bottom the related items. So here you can see all the relationships of this CI with other devices. And you have the option to create a new CI relationship here. Just next to it you have the dependency view. So let's click on it as well. This is the pictorial representation of the device of the CI which you are taking into consideration. You have a number of ways to look into it. Horizontal, radial. The one which is highlighted is this one and this is the current CI and you see the upstream and downstream relationships in it. Okay. So just go through it and have fun. So now let's click on this plus sign so that we'll add new relationship. Click on plus. At the very beginning you see suggested relationship. So what are suggested relationships? Okay, so these all are the relationship types which are suggested by the system. Okay, as you know, ServiceNow is smart enough to suggest you things. So uh, these suggested relationships are according to the category of your device, according to the class of your device. Okay, so if you want, you can use any of these relationship. If you don't want to use it, click on it and it will vanish. At the right hand side, you have the option to narrow down these uh, suggested relationships. Okay, you can hide the CI relationships. So you see here, CI relationships are now hidden. Only two types of relationship types are coming here. Backup and log. Okay, so if you want to hide this, this is also done. Now complete. Okay, so in this way, you can narrow down the relationship types. So now next is the filter. So this filter is to filter out the CIs and provide you the CI which you are looking for because CI table is very huge. Okay, you have to apply filter to see all the related devices which you want to relate. So now click on this filter. So now let's uh, relate this one and this one. You can have multiple relationships, not an issue. Okay. So once we selected the configuration items, we come to the bottom. Here you see already existing relationships. Okay, so now you have to click on plus. You see, as we have used here, the connect to one, right? Yes, so the same is coming here. Connect to and connected by the parent is our one and the child is the one which we have selected. So both the relationships are ready. Now you have to just save and exit. Or you can click on save so that you can see the relationships as well. It is successfully added. So now let me open this device one more time. You see the two network gears are connected to this particular device. Okay. Instead, if you don't want to use the suggested relationship, just click on it and select the CI which you want to connect. Let's say I want to connect these two as well. As soon as you remove the suggested relationships, you see the downstream and the upstream relationship as well. So now, right now I want to do it as a downstream. Click on it. Okay. So here, both the childs are here. Okay. You have to select the relationship here because we have not yet selected. So let's click on depends on. So both are ready. We are ready. Save it. So now let's reload the CI one more time. And scroll to the bottom. You see the depends on relationship is attached here. Okay. So now this is the way to attach two CIs without having suggested relationships. And the second option, let me show you. Go to the CI relationship table directly. Okay. So this is the relationship table CMDB underscore REL underscore CI. Okay. So this is the name of the table. So you see all the relationships which you create between the CIs are here. Okay. Let me find out the one which we have created just now. You see these are the four one, right? So now let's create a new one. Click on new. Select the parent. This is the parent, right? Select the type. Then select the child. Okay. This is the simple way. Just save it or submit it. So generally we use the first way, but uh, 
if you are in real hurry you just have the list of the ci you can directly come to this table and create it okay so i hope guys you understand how to create a ci relationship let us know what your doubts okay we are coming with more and more exciting stuff for you stay tuned thank you so much